This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Good morning to you. Almost 20 years have passed since Tony Delk rocked the Kentucky jersey. And Saturday evening, that double zero jersey took its rightful place in the Rupp Arena Raptors. Delk honored during halftime of last night's Kentucky Auburn game. Delk becomes the 43rd person associated with men's basketball to have his jersey retired. The most outstanding player in 1996. Delk still holds the school record for career made three pointers. He helped lead the 1996 Cats to the national championship. That's a great honor just to be uh, amongst the great players here who've laced up, who've uh, worn the blue, and I played with a lot of great guys, and it was just fun just being here because I was just thinking about myself as I was walking in, starting in the backyard of Brownsville, Tennessee, to the hardwood of Rupp Arena, whoever would have thought that. So just to uh, be here, it all started in Brownsville, my brothers, my mom, dad, Sisters, everybody helped me with this process, and um, so it's been great. Now to the highlights. Number one, Kentucky, unranked Auburn, John Calipari, Bruce Pearl, shake it up. The Tigers are 2-45 and 45 all time in Lexington. First half, Andrew Harrison to Trey Lyles. He gets pushed, still makes the bucket, count at the foul. Cats lead by 14 later. Lyles again, he would make that free throw. Here comes Willie Colley Stein, the dime, Lyles rocking the rim. That's all Lyles did scoring wise. Two dunks, four points, get out of dodge. Kentucky up 23, under 45 seconds to go in the half. Marcus Lee, 52-26 is the score at the break. And of course, during halftime, as I showed you, former Wildcat point guard Tony Dell now has his jersey in the Raptors at Rupp. Fans holding up the double zero. Go second half now, Auburn on the run. Car Anthony Towns having none of it. Blocks Antoine Mason's shot, and this is how the play ends. Aaron Harrison rocking the rim on the other end. Let's look at it again. Towns swatting it. Kali Stein pushing it. And Harrison finishing it. All right, later. Devin Booker. Doesn't make the jumper, but ho ho. Marcus Lee to the rescue. Take another look at this one. It's a no go for Book, but Lee with the follow, Jamie, actually posterizes Dakari Johnson on the play. Okay, that play was fun. This play, even better. Tyler Yulis, look at that pass. He didn't even look. Throws it to Willie Collie Stein behind his back. Take a look here. Wee. And that is Willie, Willie Good. Kentucky is 27-0. John Calipari gets his 100th win at Rupp Arena 110-75. The Cats now just four games away from a perfect regular season. That's a first look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning. Good morning to you. Last night, former Kentucky Wildcat point guard Tony Dell getting his jersey retired at Rupp Arena. Tony's senior season, the Wildcats won the national championship and scored 100 plus points 10 times in that season. Last night, Kentucky did it again. Number one, Kentucky unranked Auburn, John Calipari, Bruce Pearl. Shake it up. Let's go. The Tigers, 2-45 and 45 all time in Lexington. First half, Andrew Harrison down into Trey Lyles. He gets pushed, makes the bucket, plus the foul. Cats up by 14 after he goes to the free throw line and makes it. Later, Lyles again. Willie Colley Stein with the dime. That's all Lyles did scoring-wise. Two dunks, four points. Kentucky up by 23 points. Later, this is Marcus Lee. 52-26 Kentucky, the score at the break. During halftime, as I told you, former Wildcat point guard Tony Delk now has his jersey and the Raptors at Rupp. Fans showing their support, rocking and holding up the double zero. Go second half now, Auburn on the run. Carl Anthony Towns having none of it. And here come the Cats. Aaron Harrison on the other end, jamming it home. Take another look here. Towns swats it. Kali Stein pushes it, and Harrison finishes it. All right, later. Devin Booker in the corner. Jumper doesn't go. Marcus. Lee to the rescue. Take another look at this one. Book, it's a no-go on the jumper, but Lee basically posterizes the Kari Johnson on the play with the putback jam. That play was fun. This one even better. Watch Tyler Eulis. Of course you're watching him. You're watching TV, but you get my point. My goodness. Willie Colley Stein on the other end. Look at Eulis. The pass. Then Colley Stein up ahead. A little double clutch there on the 
the jam. Kentucky is 27 and 0. John Calipari gets his 100th win at Rupp Arena, 110-75. The Cats now just four games away from a perfect regular season. All right, Louisville taking on Miami. The Cards trying to avoid back-to-back-to-back -back -back losses. They've lost two in a row. First half, Sheldon McClellan rocking the rim. Miami up 11 at the Yum Center. Yikes. Later, Montrez Harold doing uh, Montrez Harold things, banging the ball off of Tony Jacuri's face. Take another look at this one. This is usually a move you do to save the ball from being out on you, but Harold clearly not going for that. Come on, bro. All right, refs tag him with a flagrant. Let's get back to basketball. Miami on the inbounds. Ball is thrown away. This time it's necessary to actually try to save it from going out of bounds. Terry Rozier does, and Harold, yeah, he does that. The card's down 10 at the break. Second half, Louisville down one. Harold, he's fouled. He's going to the free throw line. He could take the lead. First free throw, good. Tie game. Miami looks on. Second free throw, good. Seven seconds to go, Louisville up two. Angel Rodriguez for the win. No. Harold goes for 21 points, 14 rebounds. Louisville escapes a close one in the Young Center. Now just a women's basketball. Western Kentucky going for a fifth straight win. The winner of WKU in Middle Tennessee claims sole possession of first place in Conference USA. First half, Olivia Jones for three. Six nothing MTSU. More Lady Raiders inside to Cheyenne Parker. They're up by four now. Lady Tops coming back down. Ivy Brown. Oh, she gets blocked, but then gets it back and puts it in. Lady Tops back in it down three. WKU now up three when Alexis Govin stops and pops. That's good. Lead is six. Second half. Chastity Gooch. Oh, Gooch, the left-handed scoopage. Lady Tops ahead by ten. Here come the Raiders putting together a run. Shanice Kaysen. Fouled on the bucket, we're tied at 53. Now it's 57 off. Jones drives, dishes, Gooch, good. Back comes MTSU. Kaysen driving, putting it up. And now let's go to about a minute to play. Lady Tops down one, Gooch misses this time. Gobin, oh, the huge put back. Lady Tops lead is 161-60. Tashia Brown, excuse me, misses the free throw. One last heat from Rebecca Reuter. No good. WKU ends a 12-game series skid to MTSU. They win it 63-60. Rough year for U the UVA Wise Men. The Cavs in Fairmont, West Virginia, taking on the Fighting Falcons of Fairmont State. Strong star for the Cavs. Tyler Maggard drops a three in the corner. Later, Maggard. Again, in the corner. Might want to guard him there. Minutes later, Maggard, same spot. Oh, we already saw that. My bad. Fairmont would respond. Brandon Vega with a path to the hoop. There's some scoopage for you. We're tied at 13. The Cavaliers would keep pace early. Jordan Smith feeds Matt Day. The Buckhorn kid. Cavs trail by one, but here comes Fairmont State. Oh, Thomas Winbush. That's, that's not Bush. That's pretty good. Fairmont State goes on a 22-3 run. This is Nick Harney. Goes to the rack. 30-16 now, Fairmont State. Wise trying to hang in. Scoop layup here for Charles George. Good. But this one, all Fairmont State. Jameel Morris into the paint. And back to Harney. Harney balled out. Nick Harney. 48 points for him on 20 of 31 shooting. Fairmont stops their three-game losing skid winning 98-54. That's a final look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.